Hey guys, it's Jack Punkington. Today, here with the infamous Gibson Firebird Zero. So this came out last year in 2017. Coincidentally, last year Gibson also went bankrupt. Some people put it up to this guitar and this guitar range. Um, I personally think, well, it wasn't the guitars themselves, it was the people who put their marks behind the guitars and the fact that Gibson kept spreading out their money into industries that they really don't belong into and that they preferred uh, their name over quality was the biggest thing because while I am a huge Gibson fan will be do or die for the rest of my life their quality has gone down way hill that being said this is a good guitar for what I paid these first came out, I believe they were 600 bucks. I bought that for, I bought this used on eBay for less than half. And had it shipped in here within the next day. And it's great for that price. I wouldn't have probably paid more than 350 for this with a gig bag and free shipping. But anyway, so we're gonna be on the clean channel talk about a little bit. So this is the Pelham Blue finish. This is probably what I would say is the most popular finish or like the most known finish with this Perloid pickguard. As you all know, I absolutely hate Perloid pickguards, but I could not turn down this guitar at this price. I actually don't mind this blue finish. Um, it's kind of cool. It reminds me of like the old 90s Epiphone Slashers that they made in a very similar finish. So, we got this poplar body, we got a maple neck, and an actual rosewood fingerboard. I think this is one of the last guitars Gibson made with rosewood. Um, so, but it's a very light rosewood, and I actually really like that. It's not super dark, um, but it's probably going to get oiled, and that'll darken a little bit. This horrible wraparound tailpiece, it's not terrible, but... As everybody else has a problem, I also have a problem with it, where instead of sitting flat, it actually sits up, even though I'm pretty sure this is bolted all the way down. Maybe it could go a little lower, so I can't get the action super duper low. That doesn't bother me too bad, because I actually don't like my action as low as it can go. I like to have it a little bit higher than most people. And these, I think they're called Gibson DCS or DSC humbuckers um these aren't too bad and these you know regular style tuners these tuners aren't too bad um I'm gonna probably tighten them up there I think they're a little loose when next time I change the strings because I am going to refinish this guitar um, for the main reason of the reason why I got this guitar so cheap is because there is actually a crack right there and you can't see it but right there that has been repaired very professionally very well done the guy just didn't have it painted which I mean I get it but um, for those who remember I used to have a Gibson M2 which is from the same line as the Firebird Zero by the way terrible name I hate that they put zero yeah, zero. More like zero loser guitar. But it's fun to play. And the other reason I really like it is the shape, even though it's weird, reminds me of something Jack White would play. And I actually love Jack White's music. He plays a lot of weird like airline guitars and K guitars. So that's what it makes me think of. But I'm going to try and either come up with my own refinish idea or refinish it like my Gibson M2 that I had and wish I hadn't sold. Anyway, we're running through the Marshall DSL 20 through my pedal board. No pedals on right now. On the neck pickup on the clean channel with the gain moderately up on the clean channel to give it a nice full crunch. This is what it sounds like. Middle 
position. Um, they kind of have like this weird strat sound to me. Um, another reviewer uh, pointed that out. Can't remember his name, but I actually really like his videos. If I can remember it when I post this video, I will put his channel in the description of this video. But it has a strat quality to me. It's like someone mixed a strat and like an SG together and reverse shaped the Firebird and said, "New guitar." But, it actually sounds pretty decent. Put on an overdrive pedal. Go back to the middle position. doing a full metal machine project with this with like EMGs not quite sure yet we'll see what happens but for now they work add the overdrive on top and it sounds a lot better to me takes away from the high end, but it still tightens it all up. Go back, 
just the bridge, the overdrive. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, that is the actual function of an overdrive pedal, but with these pickups, I feel like it's a must-need. But, for what I paid, I think this is going to be a fun mod project, and that's what I bought it for. I didn't buy it to be like, oh, it's the new best thing. I bought it because I was like, you know, I see this guitar, it's weird, and I really want to do something cool with it. And I mean, I love Gibson. Yes, I would say that this is probably the worst quality guitar they let out, at least in my lifetime. Uh, but I think it's going to be fun. You know, new paint job, different colored pick art, or just paint over this like I did with the M2. Definitely need some new knobs because I am not a fan of the top hats. New bridge for sure. That's the biggest problem with this guitar, I think. If they would have put on either a regular tunematic style bridge and tailpiece or a, a better wraparound tailpiece I think this guitar would have had a lot of its problems solved and it wouldn't have got as much hate. The tuners are fine for now I'm not gonna really worry about them maybe down the road replace them but the biggest thing is gonna be the bridge and then just the paint job for me. <laughs> Anyway, this is Jack Punkington signing out. Peace, guys.